Hey guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I decided that I was going to do an empties video. I have been accumulating like literally so much product. Let me just show you, hold on. So I have this giant Sephora bag right here full of empty products, and I've just been hanging on to them for a really long time. I'm gonna go through them. I know I've done this probably about two times on my channel, but we're coming up on a year on my channel, and that's the first video I did. So I feel like I've been spacing them out enough. If not, if you don't like seeing empties videos, let me know in the comments below. Nobody ever comments anyway, so it's not like I'm talking to anyone right now. So basically, I'm just going to go through all these products and kind of show you what I did like, what I didn't like, if I actually finished it, or if I'm just kind of getting rid of it. And yeah, so if you want to see all the empties that I have, then keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I have is the Ole Henriksen Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. And apparently it's leaked everywhere. It's literally soaking wet. But this one I got, like, there's literally dust on the top. I got this one, I want to say, like, a year ago. I used it for a long time, and I'm not really that oily anymore, so it doesn't really suit my skin. But I like this one a lot. Uh, I didn't really notice a difference then. My skin was super, super bad when I was using this. So I don't remember a huge difference, but yeah, that one I have finished. The next item I finished was a Kenra Volume Spray 25. I've already talked about this on my channel. I think I did an empties of this one on my last empties. This stuff is super good. I haven't repurchased it because I got some other brands of hairspray, but I still think that this is like the best hairspray for someone who has hair like I do. Obviously not today, I'm wearing a hat, but usually when I have my hair up, this is like the best stuff that holds it and doesn't make it feel super crunchy. So yeah, I finished this one. I really love this one. I definitely recommend it even though it's like $24. Alright, so first we're going to go into skincare. I have like literally so many things. I have kept these things in a bag in my closet and it's just like, it's time to get rid of her. So the first thing is I went through two Exuvian's Clarifying Cleansers, and this one actually has a little bit left, but I just decided to toss it and start a new one. If you've watched my channel before, you know that this is my favorite facial cleanser. I've tried so many. I've tried Drugstore, I've tried the Murad one, I've tried, I tried the Kate Somerville one, I've also tried an Ole Henriksen one, and I have found nothing else that has made my skin feel as good as this one does. So if you have acne prone skin, this is really good for acne prone skin. If you have oily skin, this is good for oily skin. And I definitely suggest either getting a sample of it or just trying it yourself. Uh, it's like it's like the best stuff ever. It really is good. If you've ever watched my channel before, this comes as no surprise. So I have three of the Origin Super Spot Removers. I... That's it. That's it. That's it. They are so incredibly good. I use them every single day, twice a day. That's all I have to say. Like, I use three of them. I have one right now. I will not stop using it. It's the best stuff ever. That's it. Go buy this. Next, I have... This is, like, the saddest thing to me. I have an empty Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. After I finished this one, this one I finished probably... I want to say I finished this about three months ago, and I didn't purchase it after that. And let me tell you, my skin went on a rampage. Like, after I stopped using this, my skin just kind of freaked out, and I realized that... I wasn't taking my makeup, my cop. I wasn't taking my makeup off well enough, and this does the job. It is like, it is so good. All right, well, my camera might die, so that's gonna be great when that happens. I also went through a Kiehl's Clearly Corrective uh, Dark Spot Solution. That I can't live without this stuff. I already have a new one. I have repurchased this probably three or four times now, and I see a huge difference when I wear this where I don't wear this. It definitely corrects all the dark spots on my face, my acne scars are clearing very nicely, even though there are a lot of them. So yeah, I definitely think if you deal with acne scars, it's worth the price. It is pretty expensive, it's $50, but I definitely think it works for the money that it costs. I also went through two of the Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. I love this stuff as a toner because it's alcohol-free and it has aloe vera in it. I also love the smell of lavender in it. And I don't know, I just feel like it works really well. Um, it's alcohol-free, paraben-free, phthalate-free, gluten-free. It tones and it cleanses. So it's kind of like a double cleanse after I wash my face. I'll put this on. And I don't know, I just like how it makes my face feel. I feel clean after I use it, and it doesn't dry my face out either. So yeah, and this one's really cheap. I think it's like $11 or $12 at Target. Another toner I, I kind of went through is the Kiehl's Blue Astringent. This one made my face feel like the Sahara Desert. I really did not like this one. I stopped using it once I got like halfway through, and I, I just stopped completely. I don't know, I just feel like it didn't really do much for my skin besides just make me dry. 
and I mean I did feel clean it was just like I just felt way too dry so I didn't finish this one I just kind of left it and got rid of it and then I think my mom used the rest of it so for the first time I think ever I don't know if I I don't know if I put this in my last empties or not um, but I finished another Mari Badescu spray this one's the lavender one I think this is the only one that I actually finished all the way through I think the red one I kind of just poured out or gave to someone else, and the green one is still in a MacFix Plus bottle that I have. But this one I loved. I used it in a Urban Decay setting spray bottle. I just hate the spritzer on this guy. It just, like, sprays everywhere and it's too harsh. But I love this one. I think the lavender is very calming. Can you see me waving the bottle around? Love that. But yeah, I really love this one. I definitely say give it a try out of all the other ones. It's my favorite one, personally. This just pains me to see this in this pile because of how expensive this thing was. So this is the Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Night Serum with 12% AHA BHA blend. And I got this because of Ryan Potter. He said that his acne was really bad and this seemed to help a lot. And so I bought it and I, I felt like it was doing a lot. Like my skin for three or four months was just absolutely perfect. I would have like maybe one blemish a week but it would go away really fast. And so I definitely repurchased this. This is... This is $90. $90, and you get one ounce. $90. And it's hard for me to, like, it's hard for me to say that this is worth it because I don't know if it's doing anything, but I'm also afraid to just stop using it and then see what my skin does. So I did repurchase this one. There's, there's, I did repurchase this one already, and I still love it, but, like, $90 for you? It's not worth it. It's not worth it unless you're really willing to spend $90. This is the Tatcha Polished Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. This is also really expensive. I got this in like a little gift set during holiday. And once I finished it, I had to buy another one. And the big one is $65. And I mean, I got it in, I want to say, February. And it's now June and I still have it. And I still have like probably about a third of it left. And it works so well. It feels so nice on the skin. It makes you feel really silky and soft. It gets rid of all that dead skin. It makes my face super, super soft. And so I think it's pretty worth it. But I mean, $65? That's a lot. All right, so we got two more things. This one is the Ren Clear Calm 3 Replenishing Gel Cream. Basically what this does is it's a bunch of oils that will just replenish your skin after you do all your skincare. So like if you strip your skin of all the essential oils, it will kind of bring it back. This one is also soaking wet. I also, this is when my skin was doing really well. I don't know if this did good for it or if it just didn't do anything. So I did repurchase it. It's only like 35 bucks. So to me in skincare, that's not too bad. So I repurchased it already and I still use it. I just don't know what it does for my skin. But I mean, it feels nice. It smells good. So I, I'm going to keep going. The last one is something that breaks my heart into a million pieces. This is the Philosophy Take a Deep Breath, and there's like literally nothing left in there. I scraped the bottom of it. They sadly discontinued this, and it was my favorite moisturizer. It didn't break me out. When I woke up in the morning, my skin was so like plump and moisturized. And I love when I go to bed and I wake up and my skin is like greasy, because I know I've been like moisturized and my skin is doing well. And with this one, it did that, and now I'm without it, and I'm really sad. But if it was still on the market, I would definitely repurchase. I love this stuff. It smells a little bit funky, but this was my second one, so it obviously did a good job. That was all my skincare empty, so I'm gonna move on to makeup now. I only have a few things. All right, so we're gonna move on to makeup now, and the first thing I have is two all-nighter setting sprays. Not gonna say much about it. They're amazing. I have a second and a third one right now, so I will definitely be putting those in another empties video, but they're the best ever. Go buy it if you don't have it. It's a must-have. I also have my Double Wear Foundation. I have two of them, both in shade 1 and 1. Got rid of those two. You know that that's my favorite if you watch my channel. If you don't, I'm pointing at you. Subscribe to my channel. I also got through a Custom Blot Drops Oil Control from Cover FX. I bought this a long, long, long time ago. And I think I got this two summers ago. Tati said it was like the best thing ever on her channel and so I was like, girl, I need that. And I don't know, I don't think it did anything for me. You're supposed to put it over makeup or under makeup and I was too afraid to put it over makeup. So I wore it under makeup and it did okay, I guess. I don't know what it did. Um, it's a primer. It's done for. I'm not buying it again. That's that. I also went through a Cover FX mini mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment. I tried this one when my skin was really bad and I don't know if it did anything good or bad. Um, 
The texture wasn't my favorite. It was like really kind of greasy feeling, but I'm probably going to repurchase it again just for the times I'm breaking out and still want to wear makeup. So it did pretty well. Um, I didn't hate it, but yeah. I also have, okay, I wish this could be sponsored. If you care, it's not, obviously, because why would I be sponsored? But um, I have a Cover FX powder as well. This one is covered in something sticky, and I'm kind of disgusted by it. This is the Perfect Setting Powder. I've already got another one. I think I've gone through three now. This stuff is just so good. It doesn't make you too matte. doesn't make you too dewy. It's like the perfect in-between. It's talk-free, so it's not going to dry you out or clog your pores. Love it. So I have two concealers that I went through. I went through a Shape Tape in the shade Light. This is my summer shade. And then I have a NARS in the shade Vanilla, which is also my summer shade. So, got those two. I think Tarte and I are going to break up because I'm just not loving it anymore. I just feel like it's too heavy under my eyes and it doesn't do enough. And I really like the NARS one, but it's probably going to be too creamy for me. So, if you have a good concealer that you like, leave it down below. Nobody's going to do that, so I don't know why I even said that. I went through, this isn't really... Oh, girl, I'm putting some on. All right, so I also went through an agave um, lip balm. This stuff is the best stuff on the planet. I can't live without it, but I can because she's $18, and that is expensive for a chapstick. But this stuff is so good. It feels so good on the lips. It leaves them moisturized for, like, hours on end, and I love, love, love the smell of it. But, yeah, we're broken up right now because she is expensive and we're trying to live on a budget. Last but not least, I have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, and this stuff is one of my favorite mascaras I've ever tried. It still looks okay, but, oof, she's a little stinky. She smells a little bit like black tar heroin or something. I don't know. I don't know what that smells like. I promise you I don't know what that smells like. This stuff is just expired now. It's my favorite mascara that I've ever tried. It leaves your lashes super volumized. All right, guys, so that is my final empties, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like just kind of sitting down with me and seeing what products I've gone through, what I've used, and what I did and didn't like, let me know in the comments down below. None of you will do that, so I don't know why I keep saying that in every single video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload videos whenever I feel like it. I honestly am going to try and get to a schedule for videos because I feel like it'll be easier for people to watch them if they know when they're coming instead of me just being like, well, here's a video six months after I stopped uploading. So hopefully I'll get into a routine with videos. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notifications so you get notified every time I post because YouTube sucks and I used to get like 200 to 300 views on videos and now I get like 60 to 70 and that kind of sucks. Your boy is trying to create good content. So subscribe to this channel if you want to. If you don't want to, do it anyway. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and cue that outro. Bye.